Hello, I hope you're doing well. In a bit of a bummer, the Swotor development team announced that Swotor patch 7.0, titled Legacy of the Sith, will be delayed until February 15th of 2022. Apparently, considering the state of the PTS and the feedback that the team has received, they felt it was best to delay the expansion until it was properly ready. With any luck, this extension will give the development team time to implement some of the requested changes. In addition, they released a Q&A where they answered a few of the hot button issues, so let's review those real quick. For one, the conquest will continue as usual, with the total galactic war rotation being implemented until the end of the expansion. For PvPers, Season 14 will be extended until February 15th, so if you are on that solo ranked climb or need your team ranked wins, then you've been given a temporary reprieve from your grind, so enjoy that. For you Raiders, the R4 Anomaly Operation still will not be included in the launch, so its release has been pushed alongside the rest of the expansion. In terms of upcoming events, Life Day will resume as usual, so no changes there. The 10 year anniversary event will start on December 14th, so we aren't losing that. However, the planned rewards for 7.0 for the event, like the screenshot contest decorations, will not release until February. We will also be getting double XP from December 20th to January 4th, and then the Feast of Prosperity will return for three weeks from January 11th to February 1st. Finally, Galactic Seasons has been pushed back until 7.0 as well. So what do we think about this? Well, objectively, it's a good thing. It's best not to put out a product that's garbage, especially in the gaming industry. You lose players fast if your game is buggy and broken, so I'd rather play a functioning game for an extra two months than slog through a broken mess of an expansion and then lose interest. However, communication is the real issue here. Because while they pulled the plug on the game at the last minute, people have been screaming that the game isn't ready on the PTS forums for a while now. But by the team continuing to forge ahead without telling us anything, people assumed that they were going to stick to their work. And so people resubbed, they took time off from work, and they generally got their hopes up for the game, only to have the rug pulled out from under their feet at the 11th hour, and are now either stuck with a subscription for a patch they don't want to play, or now they've taken their PTO for nothing, which is kind of a shame. I imagine those people feel deceived and frustrated by this kind of bait and switch, and I can't say that I blame them for feeling that way. At the end of the day, I feel like the Bioware team made the best choice out of a handful of bad options, and while I commend them for having the foresight to pull the plug at all, this entire situation could have been avoided if they reached this decision a month ago rather than six days before the launch. But, well, hindsight is 2020 here. It's easy to play Monday morning quarterback, and it's a lot harder to get out on the field. So, for now, it's probably the right decision, it's just kind of a bummer. But those are my opinions. If you have any thoughts about the delay, let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Other than that, that's all I've got. Take care now. Peace.